Hi, hello, and welcome to Capricorn Venus Tarot. This is Capricorn Venus. So today we're gonna see what makes you cool. So what what is so cool about you? Um, we got four piles. Pile number one is the espresso martini. Pile number two is the gin lemon honey. Pile number three is the jungle bird. Pile number four is the cosmopolitan. So go ahead and pick your pile and I will see you guys in there. Okay, pile number one. Let's see. What makes pile number one cool? Ace of Wands. You know what? I really feel like you inspire passion in a lot of people. And a lot of people want to date you. So I feel like part of what makes you cool, pile one, is that everyone wants to be on your roster, basically. <laughs> everyone wants to be someone that you're close to or that you're friends with. Um, People just kind of clamor for your attention. This might be because you're shy or it could be because you're super charismatic. But I think what's cool about it is just how many people want to be hitting your line or trying to get your attention. Everyone's trying to wave at you first in the hallway. Um, that kind of energy for you here. Yeah, I feel like people put a little extra pep in their step when they're around you. And this makes you cool because other people see this. Other people see that everybody's like trying to get tip top shape to be around pile one. Okay, Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, and the Death card. What makes pile number one cool? Eight of Pentacles. You're definitely on top of your shit. Um, I think you must have some level of success. And so this makes you very cool. This makes you a person that people are like, okay, let me see what they're up to. Let me see what they're doing. Let me get like them. Because Pal Wan, you, you're that hard worker that really has everything on lock. You could probably train other people. Um, and if it's not just about work, I think also you just kind of live in a very efficient, beautiful type way where... It, it, it's also possible that you know how to do things like mix a good drink or um, plan a picnic or I am getting a lot of cooking things so I don't know if you can cook but also like I feel like your beauty routine is on point and you have good ideas for how to make your car nice or something like that you have ideas about cars or there's something about you having knowledge that is of general interest Yes. So like cars, food, beauty, stuff that's like earthy. You have earthy knowledge, which people think is really cool because it, it kind of classes up your whole vibe because you're using those things. And then it also just like, it's cool to have a friend that cooks dinner. I don't know if you've experienced that, but it is cool to have like people who are doing things. When, when you see them next, they've already, they've done something while you've been out of their sight. Um, it wouldn't be crazy for you to cook a pumpkin pie here, pot one. Um, yeah, okay. Ten of cups. You're definitely an exclusive club. So this, this lends credence to the idea that maybe you're kind of, you could even be shy. And this actually makes you cool because people imagine a lot about what's going on behind the scenes and how fulfilled you are. Finally, five of pentacles. You know what? I feel like a lot of people who think you, you're you cool, <laughs> hmm, a lot of people from your past think you're cool. A lot of people that you've closed the door on, or it's not even about them in particular, because I'm not seeing this being your hater or something like that, but nothing like that. I'm seeing the people that think you're cool are the people from your old job, who they didn't barely know you, but now you're gone, and so they... <laughs> that you're, you become this kind of like iconic person who was there. And so this ups the cool factor, ups the celebrity factor, right? Pound number one, what makes pound number one cool? Four is cancer, also the home. And I did say like, you know how to do stuff. Like maybe you know how to fold clothes really well. So then when people come over to your house and they open up your bathroom cabinet or whatever and they see everything folded perfectly and everything's organized 
it ups this cool factor because again, it adds to this mysticism around your life. Like they almost can't believe you're really living like this, huh, Pile One? Like that's kind of like what is so cool about you. I can't believe you're really living like this. This is wild. Like, maybe somebody came to your house unexpectedly too. And so there's no reason, there's no way you like got all that together while they were away. So you must live like this. So there's something about that. Okay, three is Gemini. And one is Aries. Again, with you being active, you're a person who does stuff and has a life that maybe not everyone knows about all the time. Um, and even more than that, I think what's cool about you, Paul One, is that you've had multiple lives in one life. Like there's that Tanache quote that it's, um, if my life was like a movie, I'd have 30 sequels or something. And yeah, that's that's really what I'm seeing for you. And this really makes you very cool. You might also be like that kind of person that learns from everybody that always wants to, yeah, is always open to learn. You're definitely somebody who doesn't shy, is not lazy. I think what's really cool about you is how the opposite of lazy you are. Okay, what else makes pile number one cool? Judgment. There's a lot about you, like, holding your tongue but people knowing you feel the type of way like there's a lot under the surface here with you pot one and I think that makes you very cool because the surface is so cool already like I feel like you look really nice you're very polished um there's something like elevated about your appearance in general uh and that goes for your car your home your pets you know <laughs> I don't know if you have like I'm getting like, you You could have a chihuahua or something like that. Something with a personality. There's something about the front half of your life that already has so much depth and so much intrigue. You're cooking your meals. You're going out with your partner. Um, you know, you have friends outside of the workplace. You have friends that people don't know. And then privately also, I think you have a lot of opinions. You might be like a, a person who is secretly kind of very judgmental, um, but you're just keeping it to yourself. And so this makes you very cool. People want to know what you think, but they also kind of love that they don't know what you think. Like you have a good poker face and this also makes you very cool. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, a lot about you like holding back here. I think your privacy and the way you just kind of, you leave a trail of people following you around basically. Um, because nobody, or not very many people are let in the circle, but you do let them be little followers, you know? Like um, maybe you have a huge Instagram, but then you don't really hang out with that many people or something like that that's really making you seem cool. What else for pal number one? Oh, King of Cups came back that earlier in the star yeah so that really goes into what we're talking about here I'm definitely gonna link espresso by Sabrina Carpenter because that's the kind of vibe I'm like I'm seeing just people follow you around they want to know what you're up to but they also know that you don't want them to know what you're up to <laughs> you know that you're you're purposefully keeping things private um and this makes you a very cool person to watch to hang around also you let people watch you you let people um you know follow your Instagram maybe you you're, you allow your uh, co-workers to follow your Instagram, but you don't hang out with them. You know, something like that where you keep them on the periphery. So you're really good at that, keeping people on the periphery. Um, so this, this makes you very cool, you know, like there's just more people to be your fans. So that is what I'm getting for you, pal one. Let's go ahead and pull some music videos. I'm gonna put espresso, but yeah, poison. People chasing you around. makes pile one cool. Ha! Cool by Gwen, Gwen, Gwen Stefani. You have this sense of like people get obsessed with you but you kind of like I don't know you you leave a trail that's what it is like you really leave a trail because you're always moving on to the next thing. So that is what I've got for you. I'm gonna leave these down below and I will see you next time.
number two. What makes pile number two cool? I think you seem like young and turned kind of vibe. Like you're like young, out there living, getting things done, like um, going out with your friends, always down to try something new. You seem like the kind of person who has gone skydiving before about to. Um, nothing's off limits to you. And this makes you very cool. Nothing's off limits. It's like you, you still have that vibe of like invincibility in a way, like a, like a teenager would, you know, like I'm invincible, nothing could stop me. So of course I'm gonna go out and travel. And of course I'm gonna, you know, <laughs> I don't know, yeah, like ride the bull at the cowboy bar, you know, <laughs> kind of vibes. Okay, so what makes pile number two cool? Five is Leo, yeah, you're not afraid of attention. No, 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 and this makes you cool. Like you don't, sh you're not shy at all. That's what I'm getting here, so. You know, this could be somebody's opinion, but I also think, like, you come across that way as not shy. Um, five is Leo, ten is Capricorn, and then we got Leo again. It's also creativity. I feel like you're a very creative person. Again, you're always coming up with interesting things to do. Like, it's never a stale night with you. It's like rowdy, that music video. Um, so I'll try to link that, but... I'm seeing like you would be smiling ear to ear, walking down the street drunk with your friend. That's what makes you cool. Like you're really living and excited and happy-go-lucky um, and always bring in the joy and the fun party vibes here. Okay, so what else makes pile number two cool? 10 again, so five, five and 10, 10. There's something of like a perf perfection of you, you know, like, you just seem perfect. You seem like the cheerleader, how they used to see him in the 80s, you know, as like a real person who just did everything right and looks amazing, is the best looking person there and the best dressed and has the best partner and has the best friends and goes out every weekend and is always up to something fun. Okay, what makes Pal too cool? Breathe. Slow down and contemplate the tea. Violets and ivy tangled around the eaves. Interesting. Yeah, you don't ever seem to be overwhelmed. So you're a very active person um, and people notice this. They notice how active you are. Maybe you have multiple jobs or you could have a job and a hobby or you could have a side business or something like that where you could be going to school while having a job or going to school and you're a TA for three classes or something to that effect or having lots of goals or whatever, um, but you don't seem hurried. You don't seem rushed. You don't seem out of breath. You don't seem like you're stressing. Um, yeah, you don't seem stressed at all. And so people find this really cool. You're you're literally cool. You're cool, calm, and collected, pal too, even when you have a lot on your plate. I think that your busy schedule is something that makes you very cool. Like people really like to see someone out there active. Um, yeah, I know I always did. I always liked those people. I tried to emulate that as well. It's something you have to be active in because when I was younger, I would see these active people like you are, pal too, and I would think, wow, you know, that's that's a lot of energy. They must be they must be extroverts naturally, and they must um have just been like this, and this must come naturally to them. No, no, no. You have to be active. Even even the most extroverted, like popular type person. They still have to be the one to pick up the phone occasionally and they still have to be the one to make the plans and they still have to um, get there and plan it out and know that they can get their work done here and, and still wake up in the morning and um, have that extra water at night so they're not tired for work in the morning. <clears throat> There's a lot that goes into it, but it is worth it. Interesting. I think also the way you dress is very cool and adds to your cool factor about to. Um, I could see you, if you're a woman or you are non-binary or whatever, but if you um, wear like short skirts or you don't, it's like free the nipple kind of vibe here about to, like I just see you like not wearing that many clothes or, or the way you dress is like a lot more active. I could even see you as a person who maybe is dressed to the nines, dressed in these really fancy clothes or heels or, you know, a, a little dress or something. Um, but then you're still walking down the street 
or you're not afraid of a long walk in those heels, you know? Um, that's the kind of energy I'm getting here. It's like you, you really cutting it up even though you're wearing something fancy. Like you're not prissy with your clothes, even if your clothes are not necessarily made for the terrain, you know? That's kind of what I'm getting. And if you're a man, I'm seeing you could rock a short short, babe. Um, so congratulations. Love that. I love that style with men. Um, and maybe you do a long hair and a short short, you know, like I love that. So anyway, um, but yeah, I think with men, I'm seeing like, I do see again, like you're not afraid of like taking your shirt off in public or, um, just, yeah, it's like, you're not afraid of showing skin and you, you feel really confident and comfortable in your skin. And that's what makes you cool. Like people really see this from you. They like it. There's a there's a non-self-consciousness about the way you wear your clothes and the way you live in the world. So I think that could take a lot of different turns. So, uh, you know, apply what resonates here. Persevere, yeah. Leave no stone unturned. It's like, you seem like that person that's always down, pal too. And that makes you really cool. Like you're so down for something fun. Like if it's boring, then you don't have time because your schedule is already pretty booked. But even if you're really booked... You can always squeeze in time for that exciting venture. People want to go um, to a waterfall in the middle of nowhere. Well, you're, you're definitely going to make it to that one. People want to go to this bar that just opened and they have, you know, these drinks that everyone keeps talking about. You'll make it for that. Um, so I think like you can always make room in your schedule for something exciting. Um, and this makes you very cool as well. People, people love that. People admire you. You seem like the person who could travel anywhere and make friends with anybody of any culture. And this also makes you really cool. People watch you like you're a model walking down the street, you know? So this makes you cool as well. Because it makes you cool that other people see these people watching, but also you're just a cool person that people would, people would notice on the street, much less like if they know you in their lives. The emperor, yeah. And King of Swords. You're kind of a flirt, pal, too. You're kind of a flirt. Look at the face here. And wearing no clothes, too. <laughs> Everyone loves you. Everyone's obsessed with you. Um, you definitely seem like someone hard to hold on to, though. So I, I do think that that thins the herd a little bit. They've got to be able to keep up with you, right? I think that might be something that you hear a lot is like, I don't know if I could keep up with them. I don't know if I could keep up with her. Um, Oh, I bet her partner has to keep up with her, uh, you know, and that can take lots of different turns. I definitely think that your sexuality makes you cool as well, because again, you're just such a flirt and you're so charming and you're so smiley. I get a lot of smiles here, smirks, smiling with the eyes here. Um, so this also makes you cool. So that is what I'm getting for you. Pile number two. Let's pull some music videos. Yeah. This is fun. Mm -hmm. what makes <laughs> this is this is cute too because I think it's cool how you are very loud big with your personality and you don't mind it um you know like you 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 have a lot under the surface but I feel like you bring it to the surface and you tell people about it and you're very open about your personality also with Tinkerbell here I'm, I'm just getting like people know you as this so then you get away with more in a way and that makes you cool as well this flirty nature also is, it definitely helps. Okay, what makes pile number two cool? Yeah, I can, you, you have this like, you're kind of crazy and kind of fun and very out there. And like, you're not afraid of flipping off the paparazzi over here, you know? Like, that's what I'm getting. Yeah, people are definitely obsessed with you for sure. People follow you down the street again, like that, that vibe. Oh, hello, <laughs> well. Yeah, I, this makes sense too because in this music video, half the girls, um, they're all the same girls, but you know, anyway, blah, blah, blah. So half the girls are the blondes with the pink and they're making cupcakes and doing math problems and they're smiling and having a great time. And then the other side are the brunettes. No offense, brunettes. You could be brunette in this pile, but just for the video. Um, they're just haters and they're frowning the whole time and they burn their cakes. So there's something about you where you are cutesy or um, really bubbly and fun loving. And so you might get some hate just for being so fun loving, you know, and you can just laugh them off 
here but and it makes you really cool that you do just laugh them off and that you're still you um so yeah i'm gonna leave these down below thank you very much pile in number two and i will see you next time Pile number three. This is my badass pile. Do you know how to shoot a gun? Pile three. Do you know how to, like, there's something about you, like, like literal danger makes you cool. You know, like, I, I don't know. I, I almost feel like you have a hobby that's dangerous or you live in a place that's dangerous or you do kind of dangerous things. You go out late at night you know, and walk around your neighborhood, even though your friends and family don't want you to. Um, yeah. Okay. This reminded me of like when I was a little kid, I used to get in trouble for going too far out into the ocean and my mom and, and brother were really afraid of the ocean. So, um, and then that has happened to me many times where people have been like, you're going way too far out there. Like it kind of seems like you have a death wish or something. And so, yeah, there's something about that with you, pop three. It almost seems like you might have a death wish question mark. What are you doing? Um, okay. Yeah, the fool again with this late late night walks a thing for you I think what's really cool about you is kind of like that late night avenue kind of energy that you're giving um definitely a little bit of Lana Del Rey here a little bit of I could even see you going like the hard rock direction I could see I could see a lot of different music styles vampire weekend over here <laughs> we got a hipster in the mix here but yeah so I'm seeing like you are just have that dark academia vampire energy here. Okay. What is so cool about pile number three? Yeah, I'm just seeing like dried flowers, um, you know, black sheets <laughs> kind of vibe here. Okay. Four is Cancer. Eleven is Aquarius. Aquarius makes sense here too because there's something like kind of just like outsider about you, and like you're you're here for it. You you're an outsider on purpose. Like you like being an outsider, and this makes you cool. You embrace it fully. You're like yes, bye. Also, I think you have like a resting bitch face that kind of makes you super cool. Like people kind of get this look at you. You get this look in your eye, almost like you're judging them or you're watching them. Um, and people find you cool because of this. Like, it's just, it's, you're a total vibe here, um, pile three. Okay. Oh, and Cancer again. Moody. Moody here. Pile three. Okay. Let's see. King of Swords and the Fool. I'm just getting you saying the sarcastic thing from the back of the class. You lighting up a cigarette at an inopportune moment. Again, not, not encouraging smoking smoke some weed um but anyway yeah that's the kind of energy I'm getting here maybe you do smoke weed and that makes you cool um so anyway I just feel like yeah also maybe your drink of choice is a cool drink of choice I'm getting a lot of different ones of course whiskey is a classic cool person drink scotch on the rocks or something um but there's lots of cool people drinks um and I just feel like you yeah there's something about your drinks makes you cool okay interesting um yeah, the smoking and the drinking, but it also could be like, maybe you drink black coffee or um, you only have tea and you're serious about it. Um, you know, something like that, where it's kind of like Tumblr, edgy, hipster, you know, coffee shop, bookstore vibes here. But then also bring in the danger too. So you could be like someone who's kind of an adrenaline junkie. Um, <laughs> I just thought of new moon, Bella. <laughs> uh, those of you who know, know, you know, um, so maybe you're into being on a motorcycle where maybe you wear motorcycle jackets. You could also, I can't, I'm getting like cliff diving. Um, yeah, I mean, you, maybe you fly a plane. I, I know someone who flies a plane. So like something like that, where it's like kind of dangerous, um, and like extreme that most people don't do. And I feel like you like it because most people don't do it. You know, like you do have that hipster energy and people can, people people think you're cool because of the stuff you do, but they also think it's cool that you want to be an outsider. You want to be different um, and that you're brave like that. You know, like you like the rainy days better than the sunny days kind of vibe. Okay. Let's go here. 
you have a big wall up, pile three. And people find this cool because it's like you can't be hurt easily. Your, your feelings aren't easily hurt. Um, so this puts you above people. And so then they think you're cooler. Um, you know, the popular person is not going to be really offended when the loser says something um, mean to them. Like, unless it's a cinematic movie. But anyway, I'm just saying like you're also quick to say no. No, I don't want to be there. No, I don't want that. No, I don't like that. No, not into it. The Magician and the Two of Pentacles. I think something else cool about you. Page of Wands, interesting. Fearless over here. Pile three, you're, you're just so fearless. And you don't, I think, there, there's a lot of ways in which you're fearless, but I feel like there's several little things that also make you cool. Maybe you're not afraid of bugs. You're the one to kill the bug um, when everybody starts screaming. You know, you're not, I just don't see you be the type to start screaming. Like maybe you pick multiple piles, but this is one aspect of you that's cool is that you just seem to be non-phased, non-plussed as they say, but like you're not phased by things. You like things moody. You like things dark. You like things nobody else likes. Um, you like a dangerous situation, a uh, trek through the jungle kind of vibe here. Um, I also see you being like blood bonded to your friends. Like your, your loyalty is like very aggressive and like a violent kind of loyalty here. Um, a note to me is like, put that music video violent. Don't make me get violent. That's a good one for you. Um, and I do think Again, there's a sense of you liking something that's kind of taboo or liking taboo things in general. It's like if someone wants to bring something up to you, they know the best thing to bring up to you would be something weird or something kind of outside of the norm or um, totally different from what you guys have ever talked about before. Bring them something different. If I'm getting you a gift, I'm getting you a, you know, <laughs> a, like embossed chalice that looks like a thousand years old or like a journal um, with like burned edges here, you know, and people really like this. People feel like you're a very cool person to know. They, they, they enhance your power. Like, it's almost like people find you also very powerful because of this energy you have of the outsider. Cause you don't really care if you're burning bridges or you, it seems like you don't really care about burning bridges. You don't really care about leaving things in the past. You're not very sentimental. Although you, you might be about relationships, very sentimental. Like I said, blood bonding here. It's like, it looks like they've carved this into their hands and they're doing, you know, blood packed over here. And then also it's like, talk about beating a dead horse. You, you really didn't need to leave all these swords in this skeleton. Like that's overkill. And I feel like there's something about you that it's like overkill, you know, like you will go way further than everyone else. And this makes you really cool. So thank you very much. Pile number three. Yeah, you do have a magician sense about you where magic things happen around you. But I almost do wonder if it's just because you put yourself in a lot of situations. So you learn a lot and you see a lot and you're like very intrigued by things that are different or outside of your regular every day. Or maybe your hobby is something that no one else you know is into and you just decided to get invested in. Um, so this makes you very cool. Uh, yeah, let's pull some music videos. Another thing about the cars here and her style in this is also very cool. Um, and different, and obviously different than everyone else in the video. So that's interesting. What makes Pile 3 cool? <laughs> I feel like I always pick up poor baby here. Um, what makes Pile 3 cool? <laughs> this is really funny for you. Because it's like, when she sees something bad happen to her, him, she kind of smiles at it. It's like you, you have like a funny sense of humor about things too. Um, pile three, where it's kind of cool how you aren't afraid of saying that you wish your enemy would die. Like, you're not afraid of that. Like, <laughs> um, not, I'm not encouraging it. I'm just saying this is what makes you cool. So whatever. Um, this is reminding me, my brother one time, he was telling me how uh, some girl got mad at him because there was like one of those questions you ask people um, just to see their, their response is like, if you could kill someone who 
was a really bad person. Would you do it for a million dollars? And so he asked me that. I didn't know what his answer was. He asked me that and I said, yeah, duh. If I knew they were a bad person, like, I don't know how you would be able to tell that or something. Um, and they got so mad because he said the same thing. And, you know, it's like you're not afraid of being kind of, hmm. You're not afraid of the backlash of, like, toxic positivity. You're really, really, I almost feel like you're antagonistic towards toxic po positivity. Like, you would purposely say something to piss someone off, you know, like, and that you would kind of get a, a little kick out of that. So that that's like smile here. <laughs> I'm not a vampire. Okay, well. Oh, this is perfect. Um, she might be a lot, but she might also be the love of your life. So, okay. <laughs> it's me, Beverly Hills, it's the hipster all around here. Well, I don't know how I could have done better with the video choices on this one makes me want to keep going oh another lily allen yeah you do have that lily allen vibe of like um we'll do cupid and karashi and that's it love Kate by lady Gaga. but this has the uh, motorcycle jackets interesting yeah there's only more in here um <laughs> additional messages i really like this pile if you can't tell i'm like hanging on um yeah so fun little brash pile three here. So I'm going to leave these down below. Thank you very much, pile three, and I will see you next time. Okay, pile number four with the Cosmopolitan. So yeah, there's like a magazine aspect to you where it's like everything seems like curatorial yeah this is my curator pile this is my collections um I don't know if you have a collection or like a collection of purses a collection of you know t-shirts you love or glasses you're like a sunglass person there's something about you having a collection dried flowers I don't know a book collection a huge book collection or something and people find this really cool people feel like you have a good eye for things it's giving Carrie Bradshaw here You have a way of making things more adult. Like you bring you bring things to a higher level somehow. Even things that are like girly or cutesy or young in some way. Um, like if it, it could be even like sports, you know, you like class it up in a way, you know? There's something about that. Hmm. Something that you take things that people think of as like childish and you make them more, they you make them seem more grown up. You make them more relevant and more sophisticated somehow. So there's something that you make things more sophisticated, you bring things up a level, you make it seem like, oh, this is important. This is, you know, worth looking at. Um, it's like modern art, you know, some people are like, oh, well, I could have done that. But there's something about you where you make people understand the value of something that they would otherwise question the value of. So I think that'll be different for a lot of you, but let's get into it. Stay back and no one is yours but you. This is interesting. I went on this um, trip abroad and there was this gate over a city and it said, on the gate it said in a different language, but I translated it and it said, we take what's yours and we take, sorry, keep what's yours, what's yours is yours, what's ours is ours, don't take what's ours and we won't take what's yours. So there's something about that with you that's really cool. It's like you kind of lay down boundaries really strongly and I feel like you keep people out of your dungeon. You're giving like dragon in a layer of gold here and um, people find you very cool because you keep them out. You know, <laughs> like you don't let people come and plunder all that you've created for yourself. You don't let people just drag on your coattails or be in your life for no reason. Um, you know, you make people do their own fair share or if you have people in your life, you keep it separate and people find this really cool. So maybe you have a partner and you guys go 50-50 or um, 
you know, in a healthy way. I think it just depends on what you guys actually make. And it shouldn't be 50-50 if someone has like way more money than the other person. But if you guys are both on the same level, then being 50-50 can be better, honestly, because then it, what's yours is yours and what's mine is mine. And there's a, not that space for the conflict, basically. Um, I always tell people like, you shouldn't really borrow money from your friends because it just, it invites conflict, basically. So I remember this one person asked me one time, they were like, um, cause I was talking about how I was saving up for a car and that I needed about like two grand more or something. And so I, I was taught, I was just talking about that and they were like, Oh, well, what do you think about, um, <laughs> what do you think about borrowing money from friends? And so me, I just like random questions. So I kind of just thought it was a random question. I was like, it's the stupidest thing you can possibly do. <laughs> Meanwhile, they were trying to offer me money. Um, but of course I declined because there's, there's not a lot of healthy ways to do that. Just from my experience, you know, I don't know. Like it was also a lesson for me to open up and trust the people in my life to actually support me and, um, like eventually let them, you know, sometimes pay for my dinner or something like that. Um, but yeah, I think that what's cool about you is you do keep that kind of privacy and that, that boundary. So you almost seem like jaded in some senses. Um, not in all senses. It's not a bad thing. I'm just seeing like in a way that really protects you, honestly, that keeps, keeps the leechers. And yeah, there's something about you that really keeps leeches away. Um, and this is really cool because you're not afraid of like just cutting it down to size. Like, because this is how you live in general. And so you make it not personal. Okay. What is so cool about Paul Four Puppet? You're never, you're never being pulled by somebody else's strings. Like, and that makes total sense with the whole little spiel we just went on about money and taking money from people and stuff like that. Borrowing money or taking a loan from a a family member you don't get along with or taking a loan from a friend or it just it, it invites conflict it really does and it also it's like the borrower is slave to the lender you know like there are some real gems in that bible you know like for real and <laughs> i'm just saying and you know that's so true because people if you even lend somebody like twenty dollars all of a sudden when you go get your hair done or you go um get your new car or you go um, and you're wearing a different t-shirt they haven't seen before. They're like, okay, well, where's my $20? Well, why are you spending your money that way when you could be paying back my $20? So it, it allows people to extend this kind of like pseudo control over your life because you're like, you don't want to displease them. So maybe you won't wear your new t-shirt that day, or maybe you will make sure to tell them that you already had that money. So like you, you've, Oh, when, when stuff like that happens, then it's, then it becomes, I have to constantly explain myself to someone and pile four, you are not the one to explain yourself to anyone. So I think in that way, that's why you stay so independent and people find it really cool how independent you are and also your reasoning for being independent and like how kind of grossed out you are by the idea of someone contributing something to your life. <laughs> It's funny, but like, it, you know, it can take its positive and negatives, right? You like definitely learn to accept love and help and assistance from people you can trust. Um, but it's also very cool how you know, you don't get caught up like that. You don't sign the bad contract. You don't um, agree to do something that you know somebody's going to hold over your head. Like you don't, you don't agree to do it. And so you don't get yourself in those situations. Um, and you keep what's yours and you, you, you defend your life very aggressively and powerfully and um, well, you know? And so people see this and they they really admire it. They're intimidated by it. And they just, overall, they find you very cool. Like you're just a cool person. Like how cool, you know? I also think you do have a lot of interesting things too. Um, if it's skills, if it's hobbies, or if it's literal, you know, your wardrobe, your home, you know, your collections, like I was saying, it could be a lot of those things, but people admire what you've accumulated over these years, you know? Alchemy, exactly. It's like what you've generated for yourself. And you see how it looks like this person is like Midas touch over here, like creating gold. And so again, with this dragon imagery too, what makes Pal 4 cool? The messenger. Okay, so now we're getting into something different. Fearful world. Um, 
you know what, pile four, you tell people what they don't want to hear. I think that's, again, why we brought up that story about somebody wanting to lend me money and I didn't unknowingly denied them before they even offered it to me. Um, because I wasn't thinking, oh, I better change my answer so that they give me what they, what, so that they give me something. Like, I'm not, I'm not white lying in order to get something from people. And so I, I feel like that's with you, Paul Ford. It's like, you're not white lying in order to play people like a puppet. And I think that's another thing that's cool about you. Just like, you don't like to be played around with, you know, and told where to go and how to act and kind of maneuvered or pushed into a position or, um, you know, you give me this, I'll give you, you don't like to do that sort of thing. And you also don't do it to other people. You don't force other people to say things they don't want to say or put them in an uncomfortable position they don't want to be in or, um, you know, really put the, put their feet to the fire about, well, you said you were going to break up with your boyfriend or, oh, well, you said you were going to be here for this or, well, you said, you said, you said, like, you're not that kind of person and you don't tolerate it from other people, which makes you cool. But it's also cool how you're not like that. Like you're pretty chill about other people's stuff. You don't try to encroach in other people's territories, so to speak. A lot of this like territory kind of thing, like you don't encroach or you don't go out of your way to get like, put your hand in their, in their business. You don't put your hands in people's business and you expect other people to not put their hands in your business. And if they try, you got the, you got the dragon, the fire breathing dragon over here. Um, okay. Mm. You really speak up about your boundaries and your desires and, you know, you're very straightforward. You're not afraid of a bad response because it's better to just ask for what you want. If you never ask, if you're never brave enough to ask for your needs, they'll never be met. I, I promise you. Um, and I feel like that's how you feel and that's how you act in the world, pal, for it. It's like, you're like, well, if I don't ask for what I want, then I'm never going to get it. If I don't know what I want from this person... How are they supposed to give it to me? You know, like, I feel like you have that kind of like, you have a funny vibe to you as well. You're a little bit of a brat in like a fun way, like in the fun, cutesy kind of way. Maybe I'll put that, that video down below. Brat, Chrissy, Shepeka. Oh, the emperor is here. Yeah, you sit back and wait, you watch. Don't cross the line. I feel like you, you give off that vibe of like, here's the line. I've told you where the line is. Will you cross the line? And if you do, then you're in for some trouble. You know, like that's that's what's so cool about you. You you stand by your word, um, but you also speak up. So you're not expecting people to follow boundaries that you haven't set up. You set up the boundaries and then you expect them to follow it, but you're not, you're not hopeful. You kind of have this like side eye of, are you gonna try to do what I told you not to do? Let's see. Let's see if you decide to do what I told you not to do. Um, you know, okay. Seven of Wands. You have the high ground. You can be very scary, pile four. Like, I think what's so cool about you is you you can be at times very scary. You're not afraid of being a bitch. Um, again, Carrie Bradshaw's coming to mind. That, that one party where he was like, well, you're kind of being a bitch. And she was like, well, that's just my personality, you know? And I just feel like that's, that's how you are. It's like, if everyone, again, I, I'm not encouraging smoking. It's just that for a lot of time, people have smoked and people still smoke a lot. And so it does come up in the energy. So I'm going to talk about it. But, um, you know, again, I do encourage people to switch to, you know, weed or try to get off smoking or, whatever I'm not like encouraging it but anyway so I do imagine you as a person who would pull out a cigarette everyone gives you a death stare because they're like get out of here and you light it up anyway you know <laughs> like I just could or it could be weed and um you know I've done that so whatever like I just feel like that's your energy is like you start to do something you can tell people don't want you to do it and then you do it even harder you know <laughs> eight of swords you're just never trapped you always have a knife up your back pocket, like up or up your sleeve or whatever in your back pocket. Um, and you're just always able to escape every situation. Like there's never a time where someone really could have you trapped permanently. There's something about that with you. It's like 
maybe they got you for a second, but you always turn it around because you just have like really good um, survival instincts here, pal form. Yeah, you have really, really good survival instincts and like a long standing defense. Mm -hmm. You're not afraid of anything and you're ready for any kind of situation that could come up and you've kind of thought ahead um, further than other people. Seven swords, yeah. So much swords energy. You're definitely very smart, for sure. And kind of tricky, you know? You're kind of, again, always something up your sleeve, you know? Like, you're never going to be caught lacking or caught unawares. That's just not in your... That's not... You're not capable of being caught unawares. Even when you don't know what's going to happen, you still somehow always are prepared for it. Um, and you might just be a very prepared type individual. Um, okay. Again, another swords thing. And I do think you sit and you you wait. You lie and wait. And you see what people are doing. And you watch the way they move. I've seen the way you move, you know. And I'm, I'm watching you. And... Um, if I know this is going to piss you off, I'm going to do it. Or, or I've already told you what I expect. So we'll see if you do it or not. And I am keeping an eye on you. And we both feel that. Okay. Knight of Cups. I just feel like you have achieved a lot, even when people have tried to come against you. Or even when the odds were stacked against you. And people find this really cool. It's cool that you always, you're like the comeback kid. You're the dragon in the, um, you know, the cave that keeps a hold of your gold. There's lots of dead bodies at the front of that cave, um, pal four. And so people find this really cool. You're a cool individual. It just makes sense. It just makes sense with you. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull some music videos. <laughs> Love it. Okay. What makes pile number four cool? You always are, have an escape route. You really do. You always have an escape route. And I also feel like you have a lot going on for yourself. Like I said, you have a lot to lose. You have a lot that you care about and that you watch over. Um, like, for example, in this video, it's like she's running around town touring. And at the same time, she's dealing with this stupid interpersonal issue. Um, but she has a lot to lose. So at the end, she gets rid of the flowers he gets her. You know, like she, we see it from her perspective of the situation was draining her. It was taking from her and giving her nothing. So we, we root for her in this one. And I feel like that's the same with you. It's really cool how, of course, we're rooting for you. Yeah, there's something about you where you're the one we're rooting for. Even if you, it's like I support women's rights and wrongs. I've heard that lately. There's something about that with you. Even if you're a man watching or you're non-binary watching, I just feel like people support your rights and wrongs, <laughs> Pal 4, and that makes you very cool. What makes Pal 4 cool? Love the way you lie. Edgy, edgy, edgy over here. We're going to go these three and there's definitely a sense of fantasy to you. So we're going to leave that one. Okay, we'll do that too. This is like, it's high drama and you bring things into this like, very intense space because I feel like you are a very intense dragon type individual. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave these down below. Thank you very much, pal, for it. And I will see you next time.